Hey guys, just coming through with a quick video about repentance. Mm -hmm. We're going to learn quickly about what is repentance and what is not repentance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so welcome to the vlog. See, so when you get angry because of your mistakes, mm -hmm. when you're feeling guilt, remorseful, crying, that is not repentance. Mm -hmm. You're crying about your sins. Mm -hmm. You're carrying the condemnation and the guilt, feeling sad, mm -hmm. pitiful. That is not repentance. Even, you see, when we, we do a mistake, and then we're like, oh, I, I can't believe I did that. Mm, how could someone like me do su such a thing? I can't believe I cheated on my wife. <laughs> that is not repentance either. Oh, regretting, like, oh, I wish I never did that. I wish I was a better man. I wish I was, I was a better person. That is not repentance. The Bible says that it is the goodness of God that leads man to repentance. I love what this preacher says. He says that repentance is seeing the good in God mm -hmm, and changing your life towards that. Now let me break it down. This is what God says about you. He says you're righteous, you're precious, you're worthy to be loved, worthy dying for. Now you saying that and changing your mind, your actions, your belief towards that. See the Bible says that faith obtains a good report. So faith is actually um, seeing the good in God. Mm -hmm. Seeing the good only and nothing else. Seeing that God is not against you. Mm -hmm. uh, is not out to get you. Mm -hmm. uh, or to punish you. Mm -hmm. But just believing and seeing the goodness of God and changing your mind towards that. God says, I'm blessed, I'm righteous. So I'm going to have righteous thoughts. Mm -hmm. Right, and my actions will actually change to, to, to align with what he says about me. So I can cry, mm -hmm. I can shout, mm -hmm. I can holler, mm -hmm. I, can do on, I can go on a seven day dry fasting because of what I did, begging for the masses. Right, we do that a lot, Christians. And I can't blame us because that is what we were taught mm -hmm. doing the work, P putting in the work, then God would be like, oh, I think now he gets it. Mm -hmm. Because you're crying uh, and naming your sins? No, that is a repentance. God would be like, mm, I think he gets it. When mm, he's having righteous thoughts, mm -hmm. when he's you know, living like the one who is loved and forgiven, mm -hmm. and all his actions and, and, and thoughts and words actually match with what I say about him. But you naming them and crying about them, mm -hmm. just think about this. Do you think there's something, there's a thing that you tell God? about you that he doesn't know. He already knows. If you cheated, he already knows you cheated on your wife. If you're lying or stealing or doing that, he already knows. He knows everything, yo. But do you know you loved? Wow, the mosquito I'm recording at night. But do you know you loved? Mm -hmm. Forgiven? Cherished? And are you aligning your thoughts, your actions, your belief system to be built? around that, the knowledge of the Christ. What did he say that he's going to build his church upon this rock? What he meant, what he meant is that, you know, the church will be built around the foundation of the truth, mm -hmm. the, the, the knowledge of the Christ, the death and the resurrection. And what he says about you, the righteousness of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very simple and quick.